Well, here's the thing about me. One, I'm going to encourage you to use your voice. One, because can't nobody tell your story better than you. Now, I'm good at talking, but you're great at being who you are. Mm -hmm. Art is activism. Art is activism. Everybody say it with me. Art is activism. Yes, every single movement that you can think of that ever happened in history has happened and has been uh, remembered through art. Let's talk about your story. What have you heard about black kids in school? And one thing that we said multiple times, especially when y'all was talking about the East and West, is what? We're all a lot more similar than we are different, right? We have all of these connected stories. So when we can hear the stories that other people share um, and we can be inspired by it, right? We can connect it to our stories. We can be inspired by that. That's when movement happens. That's when change happens, right? I know that I was inspired by the stories that I heard. So thank you all for sharing that. And so with that being said, what we're gonna talk about now is how to do that not just in this room, but to do it on a larger scale, right? So what we're gonna talk about is how we can make videos sharing our stories or our experiences. I believe that every single person in this room can be a good storyteller if they want to be because you have every bit of power in you to be everything that you wanna be. And I know that sounds corny, but I'm serious, I mean it, I really do. My name is Nathan Anderson, I'm part of SHIP, and the question is, what are the stories about your community that you find fascinating or pique at your interest? What are stories about your community that you find shame or guilt or defensiveness about, even if they are not about you specifically? The stories I find fascinating is just the recent building of the Freedom School, which is a literary, a supplementary literary program where elementary students are given the opportunity to help improve their reading skills and other literature skills. And this was founded by Nicole Hannah Jones and some other fabulous black women within our community. And I just think it's an amazing thing as develop, de help developing those skills while young will translate easier when you progress to middle school and high school. My name is Janaya Johnson and today I will be answering what are things about your community that you take pride in and what are some things about your community that you're concerned about. Some things I take pride in are the community support. Um, if we have things going on in the community, they're very sure to come out and support and make sure that they get support. Like when we have things that are going on in the park or like food truck days or just concerts, there will, people, there will be people there that come and support and show up. I also feel like another concern with our community is growth. Sometimes I often look at our community, I feel like it's stagnant, like there's not much going on here, things aren't happening. Hi, my name is Chloe and the question I will be answering is what are some of the things I take pride in in my community? And the second one is uh, what are some of my concerns that I have for my community? So some of the things that I take pride in is how our community celebrates our students, um, especially uh, their accomplishments. And some of the concerns that I have for our community is um, our educational system overall, especially in how um, some of the like more advanced classes are not offered to minorities and they're not um, more exclusive um, for those people and um, how um, some of the teachers may not like you know provide the extra help that they may need or um, students aren't, aren't even offered the classes to even get a chance to um, increase their educational level and different things like that.